you have a computer where the lights come on, we hit the power button, hear fans kick on, but Windows doesn't want to come up or whatever software you're running, press F10. Go over to Diagnostics. As you can see, trying to actually uh, check the hard drive, the um, motherboard BIOS cannot actually check it because it's not functioning properly. So, primary hard disk self test. Of course, let's exit out of that. Doesn't want to do that, so it will start. A little bit and then it stops, or if it won't start at all, you get your bad hard disk or hard drive disk. Now let's check the memory. Go over back to diagnostics. Memory test. As you can see, it's checking the RAM. And it's running just fine. Because the RAM's good in this computer. But the hard drive it is no good in this thing. Now I've come across a few computers where I did this test before and just replaced the hard drive. If you do not have backup software such as a disk, whatever, and it's okay, well, you'll have to buy new software. Now, I had to do this for my Dash computer. It has a laptop, and I went to newegg.com. They have, like, the best prices on hard drives and a lot of computer stuff. Not everything, of course. They got the best price, but Newegg is a great place to go. For example, I got a power supply from them for like $35 and the shipping was free. Can you beat that? But, you see, the hard drive I bought for my desk laptop was like $52. And it was a solid state drive. Then, of course, I had to buy the software. And I got Windows 10 for about $99 or $100. I'm not sure. So... About close to $150, new hard drive, new software, and his computer was like brand new, even though it was about three or four years old. And uh, of course, if you're trying to pull a hard drive out, you can look up instructions how to pull it out correctly, because if you don't do it exactly right, you can break some tabs and stuff. But it was very easy to do once you actually know exactly what you're doing. And it's not that hard either. You just got to look up the instructions and the load new software. Of course, if you got disk drive, put in your disk drive and it'll give you, ask you a few questions. It'll take, it can take you about two hours. Of course, Windows 10 is pretty fast nowadays. So... A few hours work, $150, and even your hard drive messed up, you know, you can fix it like brand new at home.